for Health Watch, where we discuss all the topics trending in the medical world. We're sending things over to Tim Lammers with more. Saeed Hussein from uh, Trinity Health of New England to talk about some big news coming from the Food and Drug Administration. It actually just announced that a key and very common ingredient in many over-the-counter cold and allergy medications doesn't appear to work to get rid of nasal congestion. I hate to say you got to go start looking at labels, but we're talking about an ingredient called phenylephrine. Uh, they're claiming it actually does very little for the body. I'm curious to see uh, what you have to say in regards to sort of where we are with this, for lack of a better word, investigation. Yeah, morning, Tim. Good to be here. Yes. So let's break this down for viewers because I understandably there's a lot of questions around this. Yes. So, there's an advisory committee to the FDA that looked at most recent data. There are three large clinical trials since 2007 when FDA last weighed in on this topic, yeah. looking at phenylephrine and whether it is effective or not. Now, this is not to mean it's not safe. It is safe. But is it really effective in preventing nasal congestion taken orally? Mm -hmm. The answer is no. So the FDA now will need to consider the, the uh, recommendation, the suggestion from this advisory committee. We do not have a timeline yet. Medication is still available, but uh, you know the advisory committee has deemed it not to be effective in preventing yeah. nasal congestion. Now, there are other alternatives for those folks that are experiencing such symptoms. There's um, uh, prescription medication available. There's yeah. nasal sprays with phenylephrine that are still effective. It's the mm -hmm. orally taken medication that is deemed not effective. Yeah, that's tablet form, that's liquid form for children. And again, it's phenylephrine. Uh, now, uh, we were just showing, and we are getting, getting some questions from viewers, uh, we're showing some combination medica medications, like uh, Benadryl sinus there. That's got the phenylephrine in it, but it also has an antihistamine too. So you don't want to necessarily say people won't get any relief from something going on, but it's just that one particular ingredient. That's right. So uh, let's take a step back. So when you do have uh, symptoms such as nasal congestion, it's also important to understand where it's coming from. Right. Is it allergies or, as we enter the flu season now, is it the common cold and viral uh, illnesses that are going around, viruses mm -hmm. that cause the common cold, flu, et cetera? Because the medication uh, for either of these entities is different. And yeah. so it's important to understand what it is before we start uh, taking medication. Yeah. Do we think this is going to change how we start to think about treating decongestion going forward? Maybe starting to have doctors talk more about prevention and using antihistamines to sort of stop you from getting... If it's coming from allergies, sure. Yeah. Now, remember, the nasal uh, spray that contains phenylephrine is still effective yes. in terms of relieving um, nasal congestion. There's also sprays that contain steroids that can be taken in addition to other medications. Right. Okay. Uh, we want to talk quickly. FDA uh, and the CDC look like they're okay with now this newest updated COVID vaccine from Pfizer and Moderna. Uh, what do we think about timelines to get it? Should we be taking it in conjunction with uh, a flu shot, maybe just one visit to a doctor's office or to a pharmacy? So the short answer answer to the second question is yes, as long as it's on separate arms, you can take the flu and COVID-19 new formulated vaccine mm -hmm. that should be available, Tim, as early as today. Yeah. The FDA approved it Monday, so the CDC's um, um, advisory committee on immunization practices weighed, on, weighed in on this yesterday, and basically anyone above the age of six months and mm -hmm. older should be getting this COVID-19 vaccine. We've seen an uptick in cases nationwide. Seems like those cases may be leveling off, especially in the South. Right. But as we enter the colder months, it's important everyone roll up, rolls up their sleeves, gets the flu shot, gets the COVID-19 vaccine. And if you're 60 and above, then the RSV vaccine is also available for the first time this year. Uh, now, they always say there's never a bad time to get the flu shot, but the optimal time still isn't for a few more weeks. The fact Correct. that if people want to get that in, in the COVID shot at the same time, should they wait or is just any time better than no time? I, I would say get the COVID vaccine now, um, okay. only because immunization is likely waning compared to where you know folks were uh, when, when they got the uh, shot last. Yeah. Um, and and uh, the optimal time for flu starts, you know, September into October so that the um, uh, protection lasts right. across the uh, winter season. The worst part of the flu That's season. right. We got a lot in. Thank you so much Thank for you. being succinct and uh, communicating well, Doctor. Sorry. Thank you so much. Dr. Saeed Hussein from Trinity Health of New England.